morning everybody on this Sunday December 13th I'm pretty sure it's the 13th if not you'll have already seen the date pop up anyway it's Sunday December 13th and trees not decorated yet but John put together his leaf sweeper down downstairs actually let me show it to you he's done a couple of things he's actually done a lot of things this morning my husband the handyman um, he put together this, the, so yesterday, I don't think I told you guys yesterday, they put together the wagon. Um, John took the mower deck off of his green tractor. It was right here, but he took that off of there because we're supposed to get five to eight inches of snow on Wednesday. And, um, one of the things John had wanted was a snow blade because our driveway is so big, so much bigger than our other driveway was. Now... Apparently I'm on manual focus. Um, we do have a snow blower. It's actually still at the old house. We do have a snow blower. It's, at, it's in the shed at the old house, but um, that won't cut it for our current driveway. It just won't. <laughs> our driveway is really big. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so one of the things John wanted was a snow blade and it came back in stock and I ordered it and it will actually show up on Tuesday. We're supposed to get the five to eight inches on Wednesday. So that like attaches somehow to the front of the tractor but John wanted to remove the mower deck so that it wouldn't get in the way when he was plowing the snow so he did that yesterday meanwhile N Neil put together the wagon this is a 1500 pound capacity gorilla cart so Neil put that together yesterday and then today John put this sucker together which is a yard sweeper basically it hooks onto the back of the tractor kind of like the wagon does you see that right there um and he it hooks onto the back of the lawn tractor and it sweeps up everything twigs leaves everything from the yard so this is this is what he did this morning and then just now we've been working on the other basement which i'll show you that here in a second i just have to go upstairs to go back downstairs um so he was doing that until i woke up i woke up at eight o'clock and do this sorry babe um and then while i was taking a shower john and neil well we broke the chair by the way the chair lift there is a little part apparently neil or nick and buttercup there's a little part that sits right here at the top that pushes it in to make it stop when it comes down and that broke. So we have to see if we can find that part because it's not gonna like automatically stop the chair then. Anyway, we've been working down here in the den for the last little bit and John and Neil, I'm out of breath, I'm so out of shape. John and Neil put together the inversion machine. I bought this for John years ago. Years, years ago. It's been like six or seven years. And because it takes up so much space and we didn't really have the space in the old house, um, it's been in pieces in the basement of our old house for probably six years. It sat around our living room for like, a, oops, sorry, trying to flip up the thing and I've twisted the camera. That has been sitting around the basement for however long it was in the, the it was in the living room for several months to a year year and a half something like that and we just kept pushing it around it was taking up too much space so it ended up being in the basement in parts so john just put that together and we've kind of reorganized the way that the exercise area over here is so the treadmill was sitting this way and it was sitting half on the stone or the brick and half on the carpet. So when Neil would walk on it, it would like really, really, especially when he would run, it was making horrendous banging noises. And I thought like the house was coming down around me the one day when he was doing that. So that's sitting that way now so that it has to get plugged in yet. But when you're walking, you're walking, you're walking, you're walking, you can angle the television this way and you can watch TV. Don't mind all the stuff in the next two weeks that'll all get gone through and it'll go away um we wanted to leave space so we could get to the wood stove once it's installed so we've got the weight bench right here we're gonna have to get like a small table set up or something just to put like some of these odds and ends on we got some um 
jump ropes, flat bands. This is like a boxing stuff. I got that years ago at TJ Maxx and we never filled up the bottom with sand or water and the top is deflated. So we need to, to fill that up with air and the bottom with something. Extra weights down here. We got about a hundred pounds worth of flat discs. Um, and then the ball here is six pounds. This I think is 20. Yeah, that's 20. This is two and a half. There's another one of these floating around the house somewhere. I think it might be a Nick's room. This is a chin up bar that gets hooked into like a door frame, but we don't have any door frames that this will fit on. So that's not going to do it. The boys are yelling upstairs. Sorry about that. Anyway, the um, stationary bike is going to be where the, actually I think what it's going to do, it's going to get angled here beside the weight bench so you can watch TV while you're exercising. And then this area is going to be empty. The inversion machine is actually going to come over here. So that's, it's starting to take shape. The microwave cart is gonna get shifted this way just a little bit in front of the heater. They are screaming at each other upstairs. I hate it when my boys do this to me. They're screaming about nothing. Anyway, this is gonna get pushed over here and then the inversion machine is gonna go right here. And it's not gonna come, I mean, it's gonna come out. And you can see all the boxes and stuff. It's gonna come out maybe this far. It's not gonna come out that far. So we'll have a lot of space. Um, but this side of the room starting to come together. We've got, we have so many books. That whole shelf is books. We've got way more books that are not fitting there. The middle is uh, video games and then the far is DVDs and Blu-rays. And then we've got board games and stuff here and along the bottom. So it's starting to come together. We've got these chairs. I'm not sure where these chairs are gonna go. But this rocking chair is one of those uh, Cracker Barrel rocking chairs. My mom actually got it for me. We gotta take the um, uh, cushions off and wash those and then we've got the three recliners all set up to watch the television play video games that sort of thing um all of these boxes need to be gone through and taken care of this is an old mattress pad we got to get rid of it was on our bed um but i think we're just going to get rid of that so it's starting to take shape it is starting to take shape take shape this side is going to be our entertainment area and that side's going to be our get healthy area with the exception of the inversion machine which is going to go over here because let's be honest if you're upside down on the inversion machine you're not really going to be able to watch tv right right just saying so that's going to get pushed over on this side and then all the exercise equipment is going to go over here um so that's the other thing they did now we're going to go over to the old house neil is going to steam the floors. I am going to try to get paint off of the master bedroom mirror because when John painted it the one time he really wasn't paying attention and he just kind of like painted it and it, there's paint all over the rim of the mirror. And John's going to work on taking the locks off because we're going to flip those locks and I think Nick's going to stay here with the dogs for now. I think that's what's going to happen so. All right. I'm gonna put you guys down. We're gonna go over to the old house and start putting in work over there. And these guys are folding um, the painting blankets. You ain't gonna do it. I don't think you're gonna get to her for Christmas, all right? I don't know, I'm gonna try. Right, it depends please. on how long it takes to get the boxes emptied out downstairs. Okay. And in our room. We still have boxes in our room. Not a lot, but we still have some. So anyway. That's what we've been doing this morning. It's 11.45 right now, so it's almost afternoon, but it is still technically morning. But it's all coming together. It's all coming together. That's the message of today. It's all coming together. The house will be empty today. Neil said he's going back down to Maryland to, to spend the next week and have his girlfriend. We thought he was going to be here, but he's not going to be, so that kind of stinks. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll see you guys later. Oh, well, you guys, it is about 3.40. What are you looking for, bub? Looks like we're at paper towels. All right, I'll see if I can find some. Otherwise, we'll have to wait to get them at the other house. Um, the house is all but done. Um, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough with you guys because I think I showed this to you guys in a vlog like a week or two ago. So we're going to do this real quick. And we're going to start upstairs. But it is empty it is clean it is painted i'm not sure that i showed you after it was painted um and then there's my closet 
John just installed that handle. <laughs> that was the one handle in the house that we had not installed actually. We had left that one when I changed the handles out a couple years ago. We left that one because we never really used that closet. So anyway, this is my uh, office. And then I did finish painting this. I'm not sure that I showed you this either, but I finished, this was not painted, which I painted that. And painted all the trim, which was not painted. So that brings us back to here, if it's gonna focus. Come on camera, you can do it. The carpets were all cleaned. And hopefully on camera it'll show that it's cleaned, but entryway with the chandelier. We'll go into the living room later, but come back in here. Nikki's room, it's no longer green. Carpet was clean. They even got the stain out that was right here, like totally. Um, his room is now this pale cream color because everything is, is the same color in the house. Um, I'm back here. Neil's room used to have that textured paint on it. Oops, the light's over here. Used to have that textured paint on it that was like a green color. Not anymore. So his room's done. They got the carpet clean. Even most of the ink stains out that were in there. So we didn't take the wallpaper down because we don't want to go to that headache and expense. But the walls are no longer that funny little green texture that was been here since we moved in. Um, we didn't really do anything in the bathroom. Bathroom's still the same. Master, let's see how it's picking up on the camera. Uh, it's still looking like there's that walking area, but it's definitely cleaner than it was. But this carpet was all cleaned and sanitized and all that good stuff. Closet, clean and sanitized. Carpet, This we paid for this closet to get painted too, so the paint closet's painted. Um, but... It doesn't look that worn in person, to be honest with you. Um, bathroom, it's no longer blue. And I got all the paint off today. I used some nail polish remover and got all the paint off. So, paint bathroom's no longer blue. It is this off yellow, peach, cream, whatever. Um, but bedrooms are all done. And we're gonna go back over here into the living room. It's got a little bit darker earlier today than it normally does. Living room's all done. You've got all the dust webs out of the top corners. That sofa's gonna go in the garbage. Um, I still love this floor. I mean, it didn't live up to expectations because it does scratch, but we've got John's ladder over here and a vacuum. Those are empty boxes. And then into the kitchen, all that's left is these boxes that are here. Any look for paper towels because there were two in them. You found wow. some? Um, we wow. have the some of the stuff from the refrigerator and the dishwasher right now. Um, oh, I still have to still have to empty this. I just heard somebody cursing in the garage. I still have to empty that. That's the one cabinet we didn't clean. Um, Anyway, somebody just cursed in the, in the uh, garage, so I'm gonna have to go see what's going on out there. Bye. All right, you guys, it is 10 o'clock, 10.01 technically, and I'm in quite a bit of pain. My foot is very sore. Um, I've actually been laying in bed with my feet up and um, I can barely walk, but anyway, we just had good. I'm breathing heavily because I'm in that much pain. Anyway, um, got a couple of vlogs edited, so that's good. Um, Nick wanted to close out the vlog, so I'm over here with him. We're gonna close out the vlog. There he is, right there in bed. So today, I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> you have a blanket on your head. Today, I'm I am hat. thankful. Today I'm thankful that we got almost everything done with the house. Like literally we just have the garage to empty and like five boxes in the house and that's and it. You guys saw it earlier. And also to get my medieval times cup. Yeah, we gotta get Nick's, Nick's cup from the house. He keeps forgetting it. He brought it over on Friday and he keeps forgetting it there. 
Nick's bed keeps creaking ever since I sat down, so we need to wrap this up because I'm afraid that I'm gonna break his bed if I don't. This bed is very, very old. The bed frame is very, very, very old, so we need to figure something out there because um, I don't think this is gonna work long, long term, so. Anyway, I'm thankful we are so close to being done. And I'm gonna go to bed and pee and, you know, not touch my foot until morning. All right, Nick, kick us off. Hope the day has been yesterday. And I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. Hope you have a great day. And we'll, we'll see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. You okay? My foot is very, very, very sore. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh, Neil left us again. Of course. What'd you say? Of course. Yeah. He was supposed to stay with us until Christmas, and he decided to leave, so... Because he really likes Abby more than us. Yeah. Alright. We'll see you guys later. Bye.